Hey guys, welcome to Juniority, a show where we feature some of the most amazing and successful young minds in all industries across the world. I'm your host, Mona, and today I have a special guest who is just a ray of sunshine. Our guest today is Jordan Curet, who is a 10-year-old actress, singer, and runway model right here from Los Angeles, California. Jordan, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's so amazing to have you on the show. I'm so happy to be on. First of all, I want to say congratulations on all your success. Uh, you are one amazing young lady. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome. It, obviously, this is something that you've always wanted to do. And how? what's the like uh, earliest memory that you have of anything, acting, commercial, print? Me and my mom and my dad, we just moved to LA. And then I got this audition for Target. And I was like so excited. I'm like, OK, this is like an amazing audition. Like, I'm so pumped. I'm so ready. I Hopefully, I nailed this. And then. I booked it and I was literally nice. like, oh my goodness, this is my first booking in LA. Like, and then I started like crying with tears of joy. Oh. And that's just how like I just started getting into acting even more. So, yeah. And what's uh, in terms of, because uh, I know you've mentioned, uh, what's your favorite stage play? Definitely hairspray, because okay. I love hairspray. And, hmm. I haven't seen Wicked, but I know that it is really good. <laughs> it's Wicked, huh? <laughs> um, so you've been acting since you were two years old. Uh, what what do you think inspired you to get into acting? Why, why do you think you were drawn to acting? When I was a little kid, I used to watch Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, like all of those amazing shows that I love on there. and. Like, my, my brothers, I also have two older brothers, so they were watching, like, Drake and Josh and Victorious, all of that, those good shows, especially Victorious. <laughs> um, but I was like, hey, Mom, why are all those people on the TV? And I, she was like, well, they, they act. And I was like, I want to do acting, too. I want to be on that TV, especially since I saw, like, little kids my age that, um, that were also acting. So I was like... It's never too early to start. <laughs> yep, that's for sure. You're never, ever too early to start. Well said. Um, who is your favorite actor or actress that you look up to? So my favorite actor or actress, I really like um, Zendaya because she, <laughs> I, I love her. <laughs> and I also like, oh, I like Hugh Jackman. Oh, that's a good one. Are you familiar with Liza Koshy? Yeah, I love her. <laughs> what do you think about her work? Obviously, she's, you know, she's fun, she's goofy, she's made, made a living out of just being herself. Uh, what do you think about her and her work? Well, I really love her. I think that she is super funny, especially on all her skits. And I just really think that she's very, she's, she's really like a good person person and she's she's really striving and she's putting she's inspiring young girls like me yeah and do you get a lot because I think you look like her do you I know. get a lot that you look <laughs> like her I know <laughs> everybody's like hey is that a mini Liza Koshy and I'm like right <laughs> you know right I I totally think you two could play sisters. <laughs> Thank you. Before you started hosting Life Hacks for DreamWorks TV, you were actually a fan of Sunny your, yourself. Yeah, I um, was. <laughs> what did it feel like when you got that audition to, uh, you know, audition for Life Hacks for Kids? I was like, oh my goodness, mom, I got an audition for Life Hacks for Kids. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. I watch Sunny all the time. <laughs> and then like, yeah, I was like, and then when I got into the room, I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> ah, you're just playing it cool. Yeah, I was having like a mental like like I was pretty starstruck. Like I was like, oh my goodness, I'm I'm auditioning. I'm so happy, but I just needed to play it cool, you know. Gotta relax and stuff. And what was it like when you finally got the call and they told you that you were gonna be on it? I was like, a, I was literally <laughs> like. <laughs> speechless pretty much. I was like, 
I, my mom was like, words, sweetie, words. <laughs> <laughs> so you played young Felicia Ra Rashad in A Tale of Two Sisters at the Wallace Annenberg yes. for Performing Arts uh, uh, in Beverly Hills. Yeah. How did you prepare uh, for, how do you prepare for performing on stage versus on camera? Because it's two completely different platforms. Yeah, so um, we did rehearsals like every day for two weeks, I think. And we just kept, I just had to keep practicing and practicing because um, practice always helps. Definitely always helps. And I, I, was, I was really honored to be a part of the dedication to Felicia and Debbie. And mm -hmm. um, that like if you love something so much you definitely you definitely are more pushed into doing that and stuff so what was it like playing a real person cuz you know with acting or for camera at least most of the time you're taking on a character but this is a real person that you were playing yeah. was that different for you yeah it it kind of was it was i was i was definitely like very like okay I'm going to be playing Felicia Rashad. No big deal. But I was like, literally <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be playing Felicia Rashad. It's like, it's definitely a little bit hard to get into the character, but once you practice a little bit, you feel, you feel it. <laughs> and then you nail it. You've worked a lot uh, on commercials, national commercials. What has the experience been like for you uh, compared to being on TV shows, working on commercials? Yeah, so, I definitely love commercials. I actually filmed one on my birthday with oh, for wow. Krups, and they got me a, a red velvet birthday cake, which was oh, really nice. Oh, that's so cool. I know. There is a difference between TV shows and commercials, like big difference. Because with TV shows, you get like your own character. Like sometimes in commercials, you get like a name or something, but in TV shows, you get like you know, Felicia Rashad, Alexandra, <laughs> or any of those. And um, with commercials, you just be you. And that's yeah. what I really love. Um, also about TV shows, I really like that you get to play a really cool character and just like bring that character to life. And I just really like both of them, honestly. That's fantastic. And what are some things that you do uh, to get you into character? How, how do you switch from Jordan to your character, Alexandra? Or First, I have to let it all out. I have to be like, I have to get all my characters away from me because once you do like a few, you know, TV shows, you're like, you, you kind of, I kind of get into the characters a little bit too much and I just do them all the time. And so I'm like, once I play Alexandra, then I play, well, a mini Liza Koshi, and then I play this, all these different things, and then I'm like, okay, snap out of it, girl. <laughs> it is a different role. Okay, and then I go in, and then I put a big smile on my face, because as Zendaya says, a big smile is your number one accessory, so. Oh, I like that. That is the best accessory indeed. Yes. If you were to give three tips, your top three tips for auditioning, what would it be? Be confident, always smile, and be bold, be brave, and be you. Perfect. Be bold, be brave, be you. Got it. So you are so versatile from acting to modeling. You pretty much do it all. Um, you walk the runway in Miami, here in LA, and in New York for New York Fashion Week. What draws you to fashion and what is it being like on the runway? I love fashion. I'm literally just looking at my closet right now and I'm like, <laughs> I gotta clean that out. But, <laughs> but I love fashion because you get it to express your style. And I feel like in the fashion industry, um, there's a, you can just be you without like, not being judged or anything. You just get, to go out to the real world and be like, hey, this is my style and I like it for yeah. anything. So, and I also really love walking the runway because I just, I love showing off new clothes because I love new clothes. <laughs> and, and then also I really like 
how the designers, how all their different designs and how beautiful they are. Like I worked um, with a Puerto Rican. I worked with a Puerto Rican designer, Yana Massimo, and she is amazing. Like she, she brings fashion to the runway. It is amazing. Okay, so you were actually one of the panelists on child support on ABC. Yes, I was. <laughs> yes. So let's take a quick look at this clip. One interesting fact, I love vanilla more than chocolate. We're, We're never, never ever, money. ever... Getting back together. Yes. Getting back together, yeah! So what was it like working with Ricky Gervais? It was a huge honor to work with Ricky Gervais, especially since I've seen all his work on... and I saw him on The Muppets because I love The Muppets. And I definitely, I definitely was a little bit starstruck, but I was like, okay, you got this, Jordan. Now's your time to be loose. <laughs> and so I just like, I just said what I said, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's what makes the show amazing is that here's a platform for you guys to really speak your mind. And I love all the clips that I saw of you. Um, just you put it all out there and it was great. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I love your personality, so it showed. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. You have so many amazing projects coming out soon, including your guest starring role on Raven's Home, yes. where you play Alexandra and, in four episodes. Yes. Girl, tell me all about that, because that is going to be so exciting to watch. I first want to say that I love Alexandra. She is like a boss lady. Like, here's your like little definition of her. She's a boss lady. She's the newspaper. She's like the head of the No Good Nerds. Like, she's... She's, She's a businesswoman. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I loved working with the cast. They are amazing. Jason, Raven, Annalisa, Isaac, um, Navia, and Sky. They are amazing to work with. And I just, I was so honored that I got to work with them for those four episodes. And I'm also, you're also going to see me on the season finale of season three. So stay tuned for that. Oh, we're definitely going to be watching you, young lady. <laughs> Thanks. You also have a reoccurring guest starring role on The Neighborhood. Yes! Where you star alongside Cedric the Entertainer. Yes. Yes. So let's take a quick look at this clip. Hey, Kayla. Nice seeing Don't you. Don't even. You shut down my lemonade stand. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> So what was it like working with Cedric? He's such a good role model to people like me, uh, little kids like me that want to, you know, be a star in this world. And I definitely loved working with him because he is so funny. And so is all the other cast members. I love him so much. That's amazing. I'm, I'm so happy for you to just be able to experience what you're experiencing and just you're, you're fantastic and your energy your confidence, it's all there. So I'm I'm looking forward to how far you go. You're already just, you're crushing it, girl. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. So you also are part of a movie that's coming out on Netflix yes. pretty soon. Oh my gosh, tell me about that. So it is called Marriage Story and it's with um, Adam Driver, Scarlett Johansson, Laura Dean, and all of those other amazing people, part of the cast. It is about um, love, divorce, and I'm going to be in it. And I will be playing Molly, and I'm one of the cousins. <laughs> yeah, and it actually comes out on my birthday, December 6th. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's just around the corner. Okay, I'm going to be on the lookout. I'll be all on Netflix. Just on keep searching. Keep watching. Searching. <laughs> so you are also a philanthropist. Tell me about your nonprofit organization, Jordan's Joy, and what you do through that. Yeah, so Jordan's Joy is all about charity and giving back. And um, every, every year I do a book drive, a toy drive um, for people in need or kids in need, and then we donate it to, yeah, to kids in need. And it's really amazing that I get to do that. And I also get to do what I love, acting. So I get to do yeah. both things that I love, really. That's great, but I, I'm curious, what inspires you to give back and why did you uh, start Jordan's Joy? 
When I was little, my mom always did toy drives on my birthday, and she gave away my toys, and I didn't even know, because I was like a little kid. I was like, Mom, what did I get for my birthday? And she was like, um, here, you got this toy from me. (laughs) And she was like, and my, and my mom was like, hey, Dad, don't tell, don't tell Jordan that we have that bag in the garage of all our toys. (laughs) (laughs) But... She eventually told me so and then um, I was just like hey mom I think that we should start a organization to help kids in need since they probably need these more than me because (laughs) again my closet is crazy (laughs) so um so I was just like mom we should do that and then she was like yeah Jordan let's do that and then we, we decided to start this non-profit organization called Jordan's Joy, and a, a piece of joy was born. <laughs> if you could give any advice for somebody that's young that either wants to act or start their own business or maybe even their non-profit organization, what advice would you give them? That you can't let other people tear you down because there's many people that just won't support you and will just be mean to you. And so you just have to keep your head held high and keep reaching for the stars. Love it, that's fantastic. So you, young lady, have this phenomenal voice that I've heard on social media. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, So I would love for you to close out this interview with anything, you can sing whatever you like. I just wanna hear your voice. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd. But someone wanna pick you from a bunch. One glance was all it took. Now it's much too late for me to take a second look. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jordan, that is so incredible. Thank you, you are so much. multifaceted, talented, Thanks. just phenomenal young lady. I am just Thank so excited you. for your future and where you are right now. Thank you. Girl, just crush it. Just keep crushing it. Stay true to yourself. Thank this you energy so that you have, it's beautiful beautiful thank you yeah i just i'm i'm your fan i'm your biggest fan and i'm gonna be following you and i cannot wait to just i'm i'm gonna see you on the giant massive big screens for sure thank you so much yeah thank you thank you hey guys thank you for watching the show make sure you go follow jordan on social media and catch her on all her upcoming projects You can also check us out at JuniorityTV.com as well as on social media at JuniorityTV. Last but definitely not least, hit that subscribe button because we will continue to bring you amazing guests. Until next time, lots of love.